Welcome to lunchtime, y'all. We have pimento cheese. I need cheese. You need cheese? Do you want some of this kind of cheese? No, it's your ice cream. <laughs> he thinks it's ice cream. You want regular cheese? Cheese sandwich? His favorite cheese is in here. Woo! Cheese, please. Oh, it's so dark in here. It's because it's a dark, rainy day outside. Is that it? <laughs> so I'm gonna fix Manly's cheese sandwich and y'all are gonna go back to last night when we made the pimento cheese. So now we're gonna make pimento cheese for lunch tomorrow. We're gonna go ahead and make it tonight. That way I already have it made and ready and it has time to sit in the refrigerator and combine all up and everything. <laughs> One of our favorite restaurants that we go to, they have pimento cheese as one of their appetizers. Jacob and Tyler picked to go there on their birthdays. So I can't remember though on Jacob's birthday if we got, yeah, we did get pimento cheese on his birthday, I remember. Anyway, we're gonna try to make it. I know that they use some different kinds of cheese, but I don't know exactly what kind. I found a recipe that I think is close to what they do. So we're gonna give it a try. I'm already ready for bed in my mom's shirt. Okay, Jonah, cream cheese. I sat this cream cheese out a long time ago, so it's definitely room temperature. I don't think we're gonna need the mixer. I think we can just do this with a spoon. It's almost Mr. Jonah's bedtime, but he wants to help me make this cream cheese before he retires for the night. Yes, just be smushing that up. We need four ounces of pimento, so let me grab that real quick. Here's the deal, I could not find actual pimentos, so I just had to get a jar of red peppers, and I'm gonna chop them up myself real quick. These are sweet cherry peppers. I'm trying to imagine those little four ounce jars of pimentos so I know how many I need to chomp up here. All right, y'all, I'm gonna slide these in and you just start mixing it with the cream cheese. There you go. I didn't wanna get out the mixer, but I think we're gonna have to. Let me get the mixer. Now, we're gonna put in some green onions. I should've gotten my bigger knife for this. I'm trying to do this low key over here. Low key pimento cheese and it's, it's getting high. It's getting high key. <laughs> here come the green onions. He's gonna dump in this whole eight ounce pack of sharp cheddar cheese. This is a little bit of a scary part, but we're putting in a third of a cup of mayo. That's what it says. That is what it says. <laughs> fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder and a fourth of a teaspoon of paprika. Some salt and pepper. All right, mix it up. Okay, I'm just mixing in what got stuck over here to the sides. And then we're gonna put it in the smaller container, stick it in the refrigerator until tomorrow. <laughs> Manly thinks that's funny. Is that funny? Yeah, right here. Okay. Big Daddy Macintosh is here since it's raining. Oh, he got rained out. We're going to show y'all one of our favorite appetizers that we get at this restaurant. It is so good. So it's pimento cheese. I mean, some people are having pimento cheese sandwiches because that's what they want. But with a little bit of it, we're going to show y'all this appetizer. So I put a little bit of oil in the pan. We're going to fry some tortillas, flour tortillas. We have another visitor. What's your name, sir? Bob. Bob? Love the eyebrows and all. He's always smiling, old Bob. <laughs> always smiling. Not exactly sure how they do the tortillas either, but I can tell that they were flour tortillas and I'm pretty sure they fry them and then make chips out of them. You know what? I should probably cut them into the chips first. Don't you think? Yes, I think so. We're gonna do this one this way, but I'm gonna cut the rest of them up real quick. I mean, it's so good at that place. I would just order that appetizer and just eat that. That's how good it is. I just have iceberg lettuce, but they use probably like, I don't know, but like a bigger leaf 
leafier lettuce, you know, big lettuce leaves. I don't have any of that, so we're just going to use what we have. They put some lettuce on the plate, just like that. Or do they serve it on a plate or a basket? I can't remember anyway. This is how it comes, though. And they just sit the pimento cheese right on top of the lettuce. Then they put some of the tortilla chips. And they always have a little bit of pepper slices on the side. And that's it, I'm telling y'all, it is so good. Okay y'all, it's supper time. It's find what you want slash leftovers night. We have a whole beef pot pie left over. Whoever wants a piece, we're just gonna slice it and heat it up in the microwave. We brought back out the pimento cheese, y'all. This is so good with these chips and that pepper. It's amazing. Serve this as an appetizer to somebody. They will love it. So here we go. We'll just start heating stuff up. Who all wants beef pot pie? That piece looks really pretty with all the carrots right there. There's plenty of room right here. Oh, I gotta you sit down right there, Mama. Okay. Uh, be <laughs> what? You got a peanut butter sandwich. Uh, what I'm trying to figure out is what do I want? Beef pot pie, Sam Sam. What do I want, Manly? I want Sam Sam. What kind? Tomato. I think maybe he wants tomato. What do you think? I think I want a peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, peanut butter and jelly. You can't beat bologna. I got pimento cheese. I tell you what just struck me. I know. What just struck I know. me is a fried, fried bologna, bologna sandwich. sandwich. <laughs> I don't put mayonnaise on mine. On your fried bologna? No. No, no mayonnaise? Lettuce. I like the crunchy lettuce. How about me? Huh? How about me? You gave me a kiss and you didn't Whoa. get Whoa! <laughs> I gotta get my fat booty out of here. <laughs> if I was at a fancy restaurant, this is the way I'd do it. I gotta go to the bathroom, I'll be back. And we're not gonna be using no kind of special brand bologna. We're gonna be using just some off-brand lunch meat. We're just waiting on this pan here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can't get that top off. You can make a bologna sandwich really, really good. I like the crunchy lettuce. That's what I like. I don't like the lettuce. It's hard to, when you take a bite, you get that chin smack. <laughs> I don't like that. All right, let's put this stuff on. What a beautiful sandwich. You want one, Mama? Uh-uh, no. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat leftovers. If you ever wondered why, Grandma slit that bologna. It's because it will bubble up. Here on we it. go. Let's slit it right now. It bubbles up in the middle. Now let's flip that bologna. Oh my See goodness! That? Look at that. I know all about this fried bologna bite. See that right there when that's going on there? Now I'm gonna put two pieces on mine. That's gonna work. Everybody snuggle in. It's story time. We got a new book. Happy Valentine's Day. Little Critter. I love the Little Critter books. They're so fun. Where's the alligator? Alligator. There he is. 
At lunch, we had a special Valentine's Day surprise for dessert. Oh, that's cupcakes. Cupcakes. Yum, yum. Oh, let's see what was on their menu for the day. Barbecue beef, green beans, potato puffs, and Valentine cupcakes. Yeah. When I got home, I gave the special Valentine I made to my special Valentine. Happy Valentine's Day, Mom.